Hi everyone, Emma here. I am getting ready to pick the winner for the um, Raven's Journey giveaway. The, it's a 7k giveaway and um, yeah, let's just get started. I'll start with the giveaway and then I'm going to make a bracelet with the beads from the Raven's Journey um, unboxing. I apologize, the uh, comment picker that I usually use for some reason is not working and um, so I have this other one, I've gone through a bunch of them to try and find one that works and um, I'm having issues with, they don't work the way I want them to work. <laughs> so <laughs> um, this one here is instant, which I find kind of disappointing. So if you, like there's the button that says pick a winner, once you pick that, the, the name comes up right away. I like the one that I used to use, it would like scroll through everybody's comments and then stop almost like it was spinning a wheel. So it was a little more exciting. <laughs> so sorry about that <laughs> if this is not exciting, but you know what? I'm sure it's exciting for you guys to see somebody uh, win and hopefully it'll be you. So let's let's try this and hope that it's not too disappointing. <laughs> and then we'll have fun making something. So here we go. So I've already, here's the ULR for that, just so you know. And um, because it's being recorded, there's evidence that it was all fair and stuff like that. Um, and that's another reason why I like when it spins and shows everybody's names. So you at least, you know, can kind of see your name. But anyway, I'm rambling and I always do that before I pick a winner because I get so excited. So here we go. Let's pick. I'm just, I'm just taking a deep breath. <laughs> pick a winner. One, two, three. Woo! Thania Maya. Um, congratulations, 7K subscriber. Love your channel and your positive energy. Many blessings and good health. Thank you so much, Thania. Okay, so let's pick another. Um, yeah, normally I write down people's names kind of redundant since it's being recorded. So <laughs> I can just check the video. So let's just pick that and let's go pick a winner again. CBYC store, um, congratulations on 7K. Oh, how you have grown up, lol. Thank you for the grab bags. They were fantastic. I'm still playing with them. So uh, I can't remember this person's name. And I understand some people want to be incognito on YouTube. So that's okay. No problem. Um, yeah, congratulations on the two winners. And um, yeah, stay tuned. I'm sure we're going to hit 8K within a couple of months and uh, 9 and then 10. That'll be crazy. We're going to do something massive for uh, 10k. Um, so the two winners, please email me at emmadevoe at gmail.com and I will also put a comment and pin it to the top of the comment. So if you get confused and you're not sure, it will be written there so you can just Click that link and it'll take you to my email. Um, yeah, email me your address so I can mail this to you this week. That will be wonderful. And take a look at the um, the Sarovsky video I mentioned uh, before that um, I had mentioned if you guess how much I paid for the Sarovsky's order. Um, I will uh, send you something and a few people commented so to be fair to everybody what I've decided to do is I'm going to do up a bundle of Swarovskis and um, and uh, do a draw for that now that one I do have to find a different uh, picker so I was going to do it today um, so I'm going to work on that, see if I can find a better picker, because 
if you do, you can go in and just comment. And then if you do make a guess on the amount that I spent, I will um, add extra ballots for those people who did that. So, um, so yeah, take a look at that and uh, stay tuned for that. So let's go ahead and I'm going to tilt my camera down. So I apologize about all the crazy movement. There's my desk. <laughs> There's no kitty cat on the desk today. Let's see if this is going to work. So let me just adjust this. It gives it more light. So what I've done too in the giveaways. So let me just review what was in the giveaway to start with. So I have one here with somebody's name, a special name. So this is what the giveaway is. And let's bring it up. So there's one of these bird strands and one of these, these are called old fashioned drops. I like to call them um, jellyfish. <laughs> they look like jellyfish. And then there's some lovely, and the rest are like different types of rondelles. Uh, they're five by three, I think. These here. And these ones. So what I did is we're going to make this bracelet today. So I thought this would be really cool because you have all the beads to make this. I just added the beads that were missing. So um, you need the seed beads and these three millimeter um, copper beads and then the findings. So let's take a look. So I'm going to include one of these baggies. So inside here I have a size 10 needle taped and then I added some seed beads. There's more than you really need for that bracelet but I added extra so you could make use it for something else. And then there's a strand of 50 of those three millimeter copper beads and there's two silver plated um, wire guardians and a silver magnetic clasp so that goes with the giveaways let's put that in there and put my my friend's name back let's call me surprise so let's put these over so this is the original bracelet. Well, I, I kind of altered it. I only put two strands. Really, you should have um, three strands. And this was a bracelet kit that I got from Potomac Bean. And I just want to mention because, I you know, I've never bought um, bracelet kits. And um, they had an offer where if you place an order for, I think, $70 or something like that, you got a free bracelet kit and this was the kit well i ended up making three bracelets with it there was enough stuff in there to do that so that was pretty uh pretty awesome so i'm just looking oh i didn't realize i thought these were both the same color but they're not anyway that doesn't matter because we're using totally separate colors Where did these come from? Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't miss putting stuff in one of the... Yeah, it was uh, the one for my friend. Silly me. I was like, why? <laughs> Let's put those away. <laughs> so thank you everybody for all the wonderful comments and support in that video so let me I, I guess I'm gonna pull these out so here's the thing I made this one but as you start so this one here I basically made it the same length I don't know if I uh, show you it's kind of important to show you this idea um, I think it's the 
Oh yeah, it's good. The angle of the camera makes it look like it's really dark. So, okay, so it's basically the same length. But, and I've mentioned this before, because you have wider beads and a wider dimension, when you turn your bracelet in, and this is most beaters know this, but I'm just, you know, I have a lot of new beaters. So when you turn it in, what happens is because this is wider, the inside circle becomes smaller. So <clears throat> you have to account for that. One of the ways that I do it is I use a mandrel. It's right here. So I just use my mandrel and you can get these. I got this on Amazon for $20. I think they're 30 now. Things have gone up. But anyway, they had, um, I think, I don't know if they had markings. I think they did have markings on it. And I just went through and maybe I outlined it. I don't know. But anyway, those are an estimation. That's another thing. So you might get one that has measurements on it. That's an estimation. So always check on your wrist. And if you're making bracelets for other people, if you can get their wrist size, it's even better. So you can see this one is not fitting. It's just off by about one of these beads. So if you look at this one and we you saw they were the same length watch this fits so <clears throat> but it's it's uh, considerably thinner okay so let's get what i thought i'd do is i just break like uh, open this and start it and you know what i need my thread just one second Sorry about that. I got all excited about the, <laughs> the giveaway. I have so much fun doing those. You know what the bad thing is about doing the giveaways? is definitely the shipping costs. But because I use, like I have a business account with the Canada Post. So I'm taking out an arm span and a bit. I have an account with Canada Post, so I can do all my shipping at home. Normally, you can actually get them to come and uh, pick up your orders, but they don't have it. We're considered the country. We're like 15 minutes away from downtown. It's like, give me a break. So, and the mailman comes. Like, he, he delivers it across the street to the um, super box. So, I don't, anyway, pet peeve. <laughs> but, um, so doing it at home is, um, it's kind of like when we started using electronic banking or debit cards, you're... Oh, I forgot there's, I put all knots all the way through this. <laughs> it's like, it's not coming off. There's proof of doing your knots, right? So let's, let's go up here. Let's see if I can get that out. So, um, yeah, when we were, we just started out using um, debit cards you sometimes had a harder time keeping track of your money because it's so much easier to spend. And it's the same thing with the, the postage because I print off the label and I pay it with my credit card. And then I go and do a transfer from my credit card to my, uh, or from my bank account to my credit card. So yeah, I see the numbers there, but it's not like when you have, you know, $20 in your pocket and then all of a sudden you have a dollar left. You're like, whoa, where'd my money go? So anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling. Uh, 
So normally I wouldn't start with destroying a bracelet, but you know what? I love this bracelet so much. I'm like, I need, I need. And I was going to do it. I When I got it done yesterday, I was like stretching it. And <laughs> it's, like, it's not going to work. So... You know, I didn't pay attention to how long I did it, but you know what? I'm going to test it on my arm. So I need a needle. And I, um, let's use this, these cheapy needles. I was using a, um, tulip needle yesterday. They're so nice. So we're going for a bike ride today. <laughs> it's supposed to be. You know, I want to say 30 degrees, but I don't think so. I think it's probably more like 20. But you know what? It could be supposed to be. I went riding the other day, and it was so hot I got heat stroke. I cannot believe in spring I got heat stroke. So, but I, I wasn't feeling good to begin with, and I feel think I was dehydrated when I started out. I'm looking for a stop feed. Um, let me see if I can find one in here. Here's a stop feed. Nothing's going by this one. This sucker. Here, let's use Oh, there. Let's see if I can grab that. That's not what I wanted. It's interesting, I saw some videos on doing a bracelet with these, and it's amazing. So I have to, I have a ton of videos to uh, to do. I'm hoping after the ride that I can um, get a bunch out to show you because uh, they're amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start kind of a little bit in from the edge of the bracelet. Oops. So I'm going to start somewhere like this and with the stop bead sticking out and then go up and around here. So that's, I, I should mention the design of this bracelet is you're just weaving back and forth, back and forth and adding one of these each time along. So, and then once I'm done, I'm going to leave a tail. Once I'm done, I will knot it, go through, knot it, go through. So, and you saw how strong that was. See, did I get this on right? No, I didn't put it on all the way. So let's do a little more space than that. Okay, so you just take your stop bead, put it on, and then come back around through. And I might enlarge that. It's a bit teeny tiny. Okay, so here's the thing with these beads. You can start with them or you can add one of these strands first or even a half a strand. And um, the other thing about these, because you see one side is small and one side is big, you can decide if you want to do them, like alternate them this way or just do them all one way so if you're I'm gonna do it all one way definitely if you know how many of those components you're doing you could probably do it this way and as long as they're even as well I mean you can do three on one side and four on the other it doesn't matter but if you're if you're doing it this way you probably wanted it even the OCD kicks in, right? So I'm going to do them one way. So let's put the other component. So if we're starting, yeah, so we can start. We'll go all that way. So let me start this way. Just, just so we get going here. <laughs> like, talky talky. Okay, so we start with C bead. And then we do two of the copper beads. 
and then a seed bead like that. And then you're going to take one of these rondelles, then another seed bead, another copper, or two coppers, and a seed bead. And that is your design. Okay, bring that down. I'm wondering if I should do, no, I'm going to do the full thing like that. So now we're going to take our um, wire guardian. I was going to call it a French wire. Ooh, this needle is too big. Let me, because we, here's the thing you're going to go through. This is the cheap AliExpress. One, so I found the eyes really big. So let's take this off and let's put it there. Find a smaller needle. Where am I? I am going to see. I can, I'll get a, a size 12 pony needle. I like them. So yes, we're going to go through that wire guardian multiple times. So you want to make sure your needle is going to be small enough to go through once you have multiple strands because these are really tiny. Oh my gosh, these are tiny. <laughs> you know, I've been using those cheap, uh, do you know it's funny? I've been using those cheap AliExpress needles, but these pony needles are $2 for 25 from Jill Wiseman. So I was like, how cheap am I that I did that? So now we're going to have to mash down the end of our thread so that it'll go through the needle. Ooh, that went through. Okay. Super duper. Let's get our wire guardian. I'm going to bring it around and then add the magnetic clasp. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're going to try. I did it the other way and the needle kept sticking to the magnet and it was like, ugh. So just put it through and bring it down and pop your wire guardian onto your magnetic clasp. You can use whatever clasp, but I just, I think it came with a magnetic clasp, so I decided to use the same thing and it worked out really nice. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now this will kind of move around and get loose, but it's not a big deal. Um, I definitely, once you do your turn on the other end, I would suggest you pull it as tight as you want it. You might want to have it so that it moves a bit, or you might want it completely rigid. So now we're going to repeat this section. So we need a 110 seed bead, two copper beads of the three millimeter, an 110 seed bead, and then a five by three rondelle, another 11 o, two copper, three millimeters, and a 11 o. So that's what you need. Pull that down. Okay, so let's go through. We're gonna go through this bead here. Pull 
two, and there we go. There's our first set. And just continue. <laughs> My bead knot keeps moving on me. I, you know what? I am had a rough night last night. I, uh, the, um, breast health nurse didn't call me last week. She was supposed to call me with a date or so she gave me a date, but she said, I'll call you later this week with all the information. And she didn't call. So I'm like, the surgery is supposed to be next Friday. Like, I find it so annoying that, yeah, so I'm stressed out about it. I I guess in my mind, I think if you don't call me and tell me <laughs> the times and stuff for me to be there, then maybe it won't happen. So that's why I'm a little stressed out. But I'm sure she has a good reason why. And who knows if she's not there. Or it took a little more organizing. And did I do, I forgot to put the, let's take this off. I forgot to put the uh, next jellyfish on. Because we got here, we've got this one. So we're going to put that one on that way. So we're going to go through the bottom. There, like that. Okay, back. So, you know what is really wonderful is doing this with you guys is really <laughs> helping me get my mind off it. When I get on the bike, I'm not even going to think about it. So, it'll be... And I'll just have to deal with it. But the the stress level related to it is so bad <laughs> that... I woke up at six this morning to go pee and I couldn't go back to sleep because I couldn't stop thinking about it. Like, ah. Uh. Okay, so we need another jellyfish. So I'm going to look at this one here. It's not the same, but oh, what the heck. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I've got six of the other beads, so we'll at least have six of these guys. Put that back where it belongs. And, it, you know, to, um, I'll just say this one more thing. My sister is coming to visit me the following week and she's coming from Ontario and the COVID numbers are high there. Now she's assured me that uh, they're being super careful, but um, I was hoping to have the surgery done before they come because then I don't even have to think about the potential of being exposed. And you know what? It may be totally like, over reacting or overthinking but the reality is it still happens <laughs> like as much as I try to remind myself it's not a big deal I'll be fine it still freaks me out because they were really you know they made a point to tell me that they're going to test me in the morning before surgery and if I test positive for COVID the surgery is cancelled and I totally understand because you have a big group of people working with you and you also have the OR that the equipment has to be sanitized because, you know, they're doing, um, you know, oxygenation and your blood pressure is monitored throughout and like things like that where all that equipment has to be cleaned after every person anyway, but they have to take special precautions. So I've got one, two, three, four. So you see how this is like super simple. 
there. Let's grab these guys. So the other thing I'm struggling with is I'm doing the keto diet and I cannot believe this is the first time this has happened to me in the two years I've been doing it is um, I'm unbelievably hungry and I've never had that and I think it's because of the cycling the cycling uses up burns a lot of calories and uh, the cycling that we do anyway so I think you know what this is starting to look too big to me Let's see if I can hang on to this this might be enough Let me get, pinch it at the base there yeah I think that's it okay so let me see what that took for me one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. So the other one was six, but of course these are bigger. And I started, I, I kind of had that in my head because the other bracelet I started with the, with the um, jellyfish one, and uh, and I thought had I only put these on the ends I would have been fine. So this works out. Let's get our wire guardian on. And go through the other. And get our magnetic clasp through. And it kind of pops on there. At least that one did. So back to the same components. So I've been looking at different designs that are a little more advanced. Sometimes I get where I'm doing the same kind of stuff all the time. So stay tuned for that because I think, you know, they look advanced, but then once I started doing them, I'm like, these are actually really easy. So, but they're hard to find tutorials on. So I'm really excited to do that and show you guys. And the other thing is, so I did find a tutorial or two on the, or three, <laughs> on those different designs. And um, they're old. So the thing I find is with newer color beads and shape beads and the, the quality of the beads and stuff, that the designs that may have looked... Um, I don't know what the word is because I'm sure when the people were making them they felt they were beautiful and I still think they're beautiful it's just um, when you do them with like beads like this you're like what these are amazing so <laughs> that's <laughs> you know it's funny doing YouTube I feel like it's my way of so my wife's totally not interested in beading <laughs> and I'll be so excited about something that I've made. So there's the, so now we're, we've got two. So I'll be excited about something I've made and I go to show her. She's like, Oh yeah, that's really nice. I'm like, she's so not paying attention. Did you see this part? So, when I do it with you guys, you're, the comments back are so funny. Like you guys, you're so excited about the, you know, beads and the videos and stuff. I'm like, yep. 
I guess I'm like a kid. But you know what? I'm so surprised that I have found a hobby. So I've gone through so many different hobbies. And I can't believe that I found a hobby that I can do at home that doesn't involve a whole bunch of other people. I I did, uh, when I first retired, I did filmmaking. Want to talk about a lot of money and, you know, you have to get people to help you to do films. <laughs> like you can't, you can nowadays with an iPhone do films on your own, but you see the really good ones behind the scenes. There's all kinds of people, right? But I think my wife's happy too now. <laughs> when I was doing the filming, I would take the car and have, and that was when we had one car. I'd have the car all day because, and she would be annoyed because she said, the car's just sitting there. But I'm like, yeah, but I need the car to carry the equipment. So, and it was, long, long hours. But I had fun. I enjoyed it. But I'm kind of, I'm so stoked about doing this. I really love it. And I love the interaction with everyone. It's so amazing. So, ta -da. Next unit. Go through the jellyfish. So you could do this with just two, just so you know, because that's what I did with the other one. But um, I thought for this, I'd do the three. And you know what? The three looks amazing. that so this one is going to go through the wire guardian and the and it I don't think it matters which side of the wire guardian you go through so. now I will say because we already added one unit when you come out of the other side of the wire guardian, you're going to go down through one of the strands. So again, not sure that it matters which you go through. Let's pull that through here. Try and hang on to this. So go through your clasp. Then go through your wire guardian, and I'm going to go through all these beads while I'm at it, if I can. And go through the jellyfish and come out the other side. Pull it all through. Okay, I'm going to flip this so we can just pick up the beads from the right hand and just try and get that strand out of the way. There. So pick up a seed bead, two coppers, a seed bead, a rondelle, a seed bead, two coppers, and a seed bead. I'll have to get some more seed beads. Okay, so right there, we're going to go through this. Look at this bead. has a lot more patina than the others. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I'm glad that it's sporadic because sometimes I like it like a lot of uh, gold. And then other times I just like the speckled. So nice. Okay, so let's get our seed beads. And we don't need these guys right now. These would be lovely for earrings as well. And you know what? I haven't made earrings in 
forever since I started this channel. I, I think I may have done a, a few. I love doing earrings, but I don't know why I don't do them. Maybe if I wore them all the time, and I used to, I used to be nuts. I was one of those girls that had, you know, the earring rack and all the earrings and stuff like that. But I find now, um, well, I swim a lot, so I have to take them out. And it never fails. Any time that I've left them in, one of them will come out. Because I wear a bathing cap, so the sometimes the bathing cap, cap pulls it off. And then it's, it's at the bottom of the pool, and my wife <laughs> has to go. You know, it's funny. It's like, I can swim too, right? <laughs> I should be able to go to the bottom. But I'm not as good at it as she is. I had, um, so I knew how to swim, but I didn't know how to swim well. So I decided to take swim lessons at the pool that we go to. And it's all like university students that do the lifeguarding. And I was lucky. I took it during the day and it was adult lessons. There was me and another guy and, um, he was not really serious about it. So, you know, he would just goof around and whatnot. So I was serious. So every chance I got, I would continue doing laps and I'd say, okay, do you want me to do another lap? She's like, okay. So anyway, she had us, um, she put a, they have these weighted bricks, they call them, and they're coated in rubber and they're different colors for the different weights. But anyway, um, she threw one at the deep end and it, of course, went to the bottom. And she said, okay, I want you to go down and get the, the brick. So I tried and I got halfway down and started like panicking that I was not having enough breath. So I came back up. So we were talking about it and she said, she said, Emma, pretend there's a baby at the bottom of the pool. She didn't even finish the sentence and I was down there, grabbed it and came back up. So it's amazing how your thinking can change if there's, and you know what, as a nurse, I always found that when there was an emergency, I was able to take over and really step in and get things taken care of. So you know, if you if you have a focus, then you forget about yourself kind of thing in that situation. So, so yeah, I can, I can go to the bottom. I choose not to. I'll let my wife go fishing my earrings out of the bottom of the pool. She likes doing things for me. <laughs> oh, don't tell her I said that. She's going to start making me do stuff. You know, it's funny. So I have to be careful with um, lifting for my other medical issues. <laughs> and um, with this surgery, I won't be able to lift. And I won't be able to do vigorous activity for, I think, six weeks. I think I am going to try and come down this strand so it kind of pulls it together. So let's go through that hole like that. And instead of going through this one, I'm going to go through that one. I don't know if that's a wise thing, but now I lost track of where I'm at. Okay, yeah, I, I think I do want to go down this one. And then we'll put a knot and we'll turn around and do the other knots and I'm just going to pull it a bit tighter so I'm going to go through these four beads coming up and then there's a some cat lint <laughs> I'm sure you can't see it but I don't want it in my bracelet uh, I live with a cat. 
He's so cute. I keep saying to my wife, thank you so much for getting me this beautiful baby. She's like, well, he's definitely your baby. He follows me everywhere. We're watching TV. He has to sit on my lap. So I'm going to go through the next set of beads and tie off. Go through here. And through these four. So it is a bit loose, but you know what? I think I like it. I think the other one's super tight and it doesn't have much give. So I'm just catching the one strand, twisting my thread around, pulling it down, and then holding it with my thumb. Pulling, oh, let's get this strand out of there. Okay, and go through the sky and cut that off. Make sure you don't cut your other strands. I've done that way too many times, I care to admit. Pull that off. And then we'll pull this off. And get our end here. You're going to make sure that's on there. It just it doesn't seem to have any give. So I'm going to put a knot here and then go through the next set and do the same. That should be good. Hopefully I have enough thread. I probably should have left more. These guys, that, and another knot. That's getting the good thing about the the small eye for these is your thread stays in. The other ones that fall out all the time drove me bonkers. There. Cut that off. And there we go. Lovely. Oh yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, you know what? I made this bracelet and I went back to Raven's uh, journey and I ordered a whole bunch of these and I didn't realize they weren't that expensive so who knows maybe there'll be another giveaway. So it is a bit loose but you know what that it's better loose than too, um, too tight or not fitting at all. I was like <laughs> I wonder if I could add some magnets to it. <laughs> That's how bad it was. I'm like a little kid. I'm like, no, I want to wear a nail. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for hanging out with me on this Saturday morning. I'm heading out for a bike ride. And I'll be back with some more videos today for sure. Um, take care and congratulations to the winners. Um, definitely email me with your address and I can mail it by Monday. That would be awesome. Take care, everybody. Bye.